All right, good morning, Twitch and YouTube. Broncos, Broncos Gaming World, back with another round of Arkham Horror. Today we're doing the fourth quest of the Dunwich Legacy, which is the Essex County Express. Essex County Express is like a uh, you're on a train, and you've got to get stuck on a bridge, and all sorts of crazy-ass monsters start coming out, and you've got to get the train started to get off the bridge. It's actually really a uh, cool designed scenario and uh yeah it's gonna have it's gonna be fun all right so here i did some adjustments to my deck i had five experience to spend so up here right now is the deck that i am using it is version 06 but i haven't changed it that many times so i got rid of my bandolier and i put in a clarity of mind because i do have the one mental trauma which means that my my uh my sanity is one lower, which is really, really poor. And especially since I do have a couple of weaknesses that really cause uh, a lot of problems if I take sanity damage. So with Clarity of Mind, in order to try to have a, a little bit more ability to heal horror, um, I also went with the Elder Sign Amulet, which I did spend 3 XP on. If I do get it out there, it gives me 4 sanity to dump horror hits into. So between Clarity of Mind and Elder Amulet, I spent four of my five, uh, four of my five XP. I also got rid of the uh, Emergency Cash. That's what I got rid of for the Elder Sign Amulet. So otherwise, that's what my current deck looks like. Um, I've spent a total of six XP, which is I think I had seven total. So I spent a total of six experience. That's the deck that we're going to run with today. We'll see how it goes. Between you know Liquid Courage, the other side of Amulet, Clarity of Mind, if if I end up losing because of horror hits, there's not a whole lot I can do about it. You know, I mean, I, I I've got the I've got the tools to try to help me. Um, so yeah, there we go. That's uh that's what we're gonna run today. And let's uh let's bring up the board for our game here. All right, so here we go. I gotta redo my. It automatically draws my hand for me. I need to redo it because I do have to create a whole bunch of cards here. I have not done that yet, so I'm gonna do that really quickly. There's all sorts of crap that I gotta dump into into the chaos bag and a couple of cards into my into my current or into my deck here too. And then I'm gonna read our intro, and we're gonna start uh, getting uh, getting our ass kicked by this thing. All right, so I need. I need Dr. Morgan. So there's Francis Morgan. Boom. We also get a copy of the Necronomicon. <clears throat> we get... We get the... This copy of the Necronomicon, the Olus Warmius translation. Which is great for us. It gives us plus one uh, knowledge and we can exhaust it to gain two resources. That's the good things that I get. Here comes all the bad shit. I gotta put a pair of tablet tokens into the chaos bag. So there they are. I unfortunately also let the janitor die in the museum, which means I have to get an elder. Put an elder thing token in the bag. I also have to put a minus two into the bag because the quest rules say to do that. I think that's everything I need to create. So these are going to go into the chaos bag, which I have not imported yet. So I need to go drag that real quick. Sorry about that, folks. All right. Uh oh. Crap. I think I lost my pathways to my, uh, there it is. I clicked the wrong way. All right. So we got our chaos bag. There it is. I throw these in there. Shuffle them up. Uh, 
There we go. All right, and like I said, I have to uh, have to redraw my opening hand. Oh, I also need to put my psychosis out there. I did not grab that. There it is. So I've created that. There they are. All right, so I have to shuffle these into my deck now. I have 35 cards in their total. Shuffle a couple of times. And now I will draw my opening hand here. We'll draw many. Five. All right, here's our opening hand. Okay, uh, that is a very, very good draw. Clarity of Mind, perfect. Hard Knocks, perfect. Arcane Studies, perfect. Lone Wolf is perfect, and I have a weapon, too. I, I mean, honestly, that hand is perfect. I'm not going to mulligan even a little bit of it. Oops, I got to move stuff this way, because I have the Chaos Bag in the way. We'll move these this way. Enough to get the train off of the Chaos Bag there. Yeah, sorry if my if my train here isn't as straight as possible. I'm doing my best to try to get it even. But it is what it is. Here we go. Alright, and this puts us here. We start at the end. Alright, so here we go. Uh, on to the setup for scenario three. It is a th the the third scenario, the fourth mission, because mission one is uh one is uh, one a one b. All right, here we go. Recent events at in the museum have forced you to reevaluate Armitage's tale about Dunwich. It cannot be a coincidence, Wilbur Watley. The Necronomicon, the creature from Dunwich, and the people and creatures who attacked here in Arkham. Everything must be connected. You're certain now where you must head. Lonely and <laughs> the lonely, dismal town of Dunwich Village. You consider telling Massachusetts State Police. What you know, but the negative consequences outweigh the potential gain. Given the nature of your story, they would likely write write they would likely write your stories off as a, as an absurd hoax. Worse, they could lock you up. After all, you were present in an illegal you were present at an illegal speakeasy, and you and you also trespassed in the in the museum. Instead, you decided to head to Dunwich yourself in order to investigate further. You pack everything you think you might need and manage to get get some rest for the night. In the morning, you head to the train station in on in the north side and purchase a last-minute express ticket, which is several hours by train north northwest along the Miskatonic River Valley. There is no train station in Dunwich, but you but you manage to phone one of Armitage's acquaintances in a small village, a man by the name of Zebulon Zebulon Watley, who was present during the during the event several months ago. Armitage notes Armitage's notes indicate that the Watley family is spread across many branches. Some some descendant and unscrupulous, others undecayed and otherwise untouched by the nefarious and diabolic rites. According to Armitage, Zebulon's branch of the family lay somewhere between the decayed and undecayed Watleys, who knew of the traditions of this of his ancestors, but was not corrupted by them. He agrees to pick you up at the closest station and drive you into town. As the train departs from Markham, you feel the events of the previous night catching up with you. An exhaustion sets in, but before you can safely can safely reach your destination, the train the train car suddenly rumbles and shakes, startling you out of your out of your reverie. The train loudly skids to a violent halt, and you hear a rattling noise behind you. Okay, so our setup is get uh, gather all the cards from the Essex County Express, beyond the beyond striking fear, ancient evils, and the dark halt. These sets have uh, certain icons that identify which ones they are. We have all of those already. It says, put one of the three engine car locations into play at random. My wife chose card number two, so we now have train engine number two. Then put six of the eight train car locations into play at random. I literally just picked them at random. And uh, put the six of the eight train car locations into play at random in a straight line to the left of the engine. So that's how we have it laid out here. Ruth writing two train cars, uh, the remaining two train cars from the game. We also removed the engine cars from the game. So those are gone. It says reveal the leftmost train car. So here's the leftmost. So we will reveal it. I'll read the top part of it first. It says uh, the train car is connected to the locations to the left and right of it. You cannot enter 
a train car unless all the clues on the location to its left have been discovered. So we have to do, we have to investigate for all the clues before we can move to the new train car. So we can't just run through the train. Uh, each of us scare begins to play in that location. If that location has a forced effect, it that triggers upon entering it, that we ignore it. So this time we ignore that. So we will reveal this train car. Move myself to the front here. All right. So this train car says the passenger car is connected to all locations to the left and right of it. After you enter the passenger car, you must either discard cards from your hand with at least two total knowledge icons or take two horror. All right, so good thing we have some ways to deal with horror because that seems to be like it's going to be a theme here. So we don't have to do that this time. It's it's wide open, but we do have a shroud of three and two clues here that we have to find before we can go anywhere else. Um, it says set all four copies of Across Space and Time Aside Out of Play. Okay, we did that. I am running on easy difficulty just because I actually want to get through the game and I am solo playing. If I end up smashing most of these, I'll increase the difficulty level, but I have not gotten to that point yet. Uh, shuffle the remainder of the encounter dogs, of the encounter cards to build the encounter deck. It says moving the train left and right. It says during the scenario, locations are lined up from left to right with the engine car as the rightmost location. Whenever a card effect refers to the location on the to the left or a location to the right, it refers to the location immediately to your locations left or right. Any card effects that reference a direction left or right should be interpreted from that perspective. Okay. So we've got it set up right. I'm not going to read the rest of that right now. We'll read that at the end. All right, over here, let's take a look at the agenda number one. It says a terror in reality. As the train from Dunwich comes to a jarring stop, you look out the window, and behind you, you can see an immense tear in the sky, like a rip in a piece of cloth. Several of the of the rearmost train cars are pulled backwards, and there is a dreadful metallic crunch as they are detached. The train cars topple upwards and into the rift in the sky. Nearby tra passengers are panicking, others are cowering in their seats, and one elderly man has fainted in fear. <laughs> Run! The train is stopped on the bridge high above the Miskatonic River. You might be able to survive the fall, but you don't like your chances. Your best bet is to make your way to the engine car as fast as you can and, and get the train running again. It says our objective is, is if, if an investigator enters the engine car, immediately advance. All right, so let's take a look and see how many acts and agendas we have here. So I have only two acts, I think. Yep, there's only two acts, which is good for us. There is one two, three, four, five agendas. So that's good for us, because that gives us some time to mess around, but just like any other game of Arkham, it's going to go absolutely freaking haywire. Okay, I think we are, uh, we are all set. I've already openly said I am not going to mulligan my opening hand, because my opening hand is fantastic. Um, here we go. All right, so right out of the box, I'm going to spend my first action, and I am going to put Hard Knocks into play. Hard Knocks allows me to discard resources to improve my stats in their fast action so that I can do them after I know the results. I will also put Arcane Studies into play, and it does the same thing for willpower, and knowledge rolls. Third and final action, I will put Lone Wolf into play. Lone Wolf says that I gain an extra resource at the beginning of every turn if I'm the only investigator, which I am. So that is going to end the first turn. Um, this is a little bit of a race, so I needed to set my kit up, and then it's, we're going we're gonna to push. I'm hoping I don't encounter a big, awful monster or anything really quick because I do need to gain some resources before I can, I can start dealing with, with them with my with my pistol here, and then I do have clarity of mind to also help me get rid of some horror if I need to. All right, so that is going to be the end of our investigator's turn. We will be ready to refresh, and ready for the next round. So there is the doom token up there on a Terran reality, and the encounter deck. Deals me claws of steam. Uh, Revelation is a willpower three test. If you fail, I take two damage and I cannot move from this location this round. 
damage from this effect must be assigned to your assets first if able, so it'll kill uh, your allies. Uh, it is willpower 3, so I do have a willpower of 3 as well, and I can discard up to 2 resource tokens. If I need to, 1, 2, 3, of course we fail. Okay, well... We take uh we take two damage. There's nothing I can do, and I cannot move. The good part is, is I don't think I was planning on moving anyway, because I need to get the two clues here. But I do need to get my ass moving because this thing gets through four, and uh, that's gonna probably be bad for the train car here. All right, so that's uh that's our turn. Our turn says I will investigate with a shroud of three. I will gain a resource for Lone Wolf. Try out a three, two, three. That's a tablet. Tablet says minus two. So I need to discard two to successfully get that. All right. It also says to add a doom to a cultist enemy. There aren't any, thank God. Uh, that, that was one action. Our second action will be to investigate a second time. One, two, three, minus two again. So I fail. There's nothing I can do about that. That's frustrating. Um, my third one will be to... I'll investigate a third time. This time I will I'll discard prepared for the worst to boost me by one, and then I have a resource here if I need it. One, two, three. There it is. Give me another minus two, so that, that'll do it this time. I'm at a four, five, five, five knowledge minus two gets us to a three so that we got it. All right, so it took me th all three actions to get that, but we did get it, and I didn't really want to use prepared for the worst, but I didn't have much of a choice in that manner, so off it goes. All right, so that is the end of the turn. Discard this guy up here. Ready to refresh. Ready for the next round. We'll be able to move out of there next turn. All right, one, two, three. Another claw steam. Same thing. All right, so we got to take a willpower of three. One, two, three. Fire the skull. Minus X, where X is the, the agenda, so it's minus one. So I do need to burn one of those to succeed there, so I don't take two damage. That is uh, the end of the mythos. We will discard that, and it is my turn again. All right, our first action will be, well, our first thing we'll do is take the free resource from Lone Wolf. My second will be to move to here. So this one says it's still connected to both locations. So they all say that. They all say I cannot, uh, you cannot enter the train car unless all the clues on the location to its left have been discovered. I have discovered all of them here. So now we can go to here. Here we found the dining car. The dining car is connected to the location to the left and right of it. After you reveal the dining card, search the encounter deck and discard pile for a grappling horror and draw it. Oh, shit. So there's some big-ass monster in here. Okay. Let's go find the grappling horror. We do not like him. And I will show him to you once I find him. Trust me, there's worse things in this deck. There he is. There he is. All right. Stuff on close. So there's our grappling horror. He's a dick. Grappling horror, he's a hunter. While he's engaged with you, he uh, you can't move. So you got to kind of deal with his ass. And that's going to hurt us. So What I'm going to do is I am going to evade him initially. So he's in here. And because he's in here, he's attached to me. So there he is. All right. So that was one action. Our second action. I mean, he's got three health. My second and third action, I could just fight him. But then he's guaranteed to do one hit, one hit to me and one horror hit to me. He's guaranteed to do it. Or do I try to evade him? There's no clues in here either, which is good. That means I can evade him and run. 
but he will chase me the whole way. But I think, I think that's going to be what I'm going to do. All right, so I am going to attempt to evade him. So we are a three versus agility of two, so I'm up by one. And I do have resources to discard if I need it. One, two, three. Got it. So he is evaded. So he gets exhausted. And he goes up here. Put him to the back. All right, so that was our second action. Our third action will be to run into the next train car. So the, the, this side always says the same as, as everything else. So we will flip it. And we are in the passenger car. Passenger car is connected to the locations to the left and right of it. After you enter the passenger car, you must either discard cards from your hand with at least two willpower icons or take two horror. <sighs> I don't have that, so I do have to take two horror hits. See, this is where it gets awful for us. Okay. There's nothing I can do about that. It's a shroud of two, and two clues are located here, so that's good for us. I'm going to get one turn to try to get those before our, our friend, the grappling horror, comes after us again. Uh, that is going to be the end of the turn. He is exhausted, so he doesn't come after us because he cannot move. But he is ready to refresh, so he's back up. And we are one throw here away from advancing the terror reality. Okay, um, we drew a knife. That's good for us. That gives us the ability to uh, fight a little better against somebody like the Grappling Horror. And the Mythos Face gives us Broken Rails. It is a hazard. Its revelation is each investigator at your location loses one action. Each investigator at your location with four or more damage must also discard an asset he or she controls. We do not have four damage just yet. So I can only take two actions here. That freaking sucks. Because that guarantees that this guy's going to get onto us. <sighs> Shit. Okay. There's nothing I can do about it. Like, absolutely nothing I can do about it. And I have to succeed at the Shroud 2 tests. Otherwise, I'm going to be in worse shape. All right, here we go. I will investigate here, trying to find ways out of the passenger car. Three, two, one. Minus two, so I need to discard two, and I will succeed once. All right, I'll uh, use my second and final action to investigate again. I get a plus one that time. So we get them both, so we know the way out, but before we can get out, at the end of our turn, this guy shows up and bushwhacks us and hits me for one damage and one horror. There's nothing I can do about him. <clears throat> and he's on me again, so I know I will now need to either fight him or evade him. All right, that's the end of the mon the enemy's phase. He jumped to me and attacked me. And I mean, look at the artwork on that thing. That thing is awful. There's a freaking face poking out right there. He's kind of got me all wrapped, or some dude wrapped up, and there's a million eyeballs. God, that guy's awful. All right. Um, all right. So that's the end of the turn. So he's technically because he he moved and attacked me. He's exhausted, but he'll refresh and ready, and that will trigger a Terran reality. So Terran reality says, "Keep moving." The innermost car of the train detaches and is pulled backwards. To your horror, it rises off the tracks and is consumed by the gate above you. It says remove the leftmost location from the game or place it in the victory display if it has victory, clue, victory X and no clues on it. Each investigator at that location is defeated. We're luckily not there. Uh, each enemy and asset at that location is discarded and discard all clues controlled by the investigator. So I discard all of my clues. I don't know if that's... I'm not sure what mechanic that affects right now. Because there aren't any clues here. They get discarded. I don't dump them back onto where I was. So this guy goes bye-bye. So he gets discarded. So the train gets eaten. So that's the that's the timer. That's one of the other timers is that every, every stage the train loses a train car. So we got to keep moving. All right. It says the maw widens. That's going to be the new, uh, the new agenda. 
The ball widens, a tear, the tear grows larger, and you can feel the rearmost part of the, crane, of the train shaking as it's pulled backwards. The situation threatens to erupt into chaos as more passengers realize the, the danger they are in. Some passengers are looking for places to hide while others are running about the compartments in terror. <clears throat> Alright, so it's got three. It takes three doom to get past the mall widens. So we have theoretically three turns before shit goes awry. Alright, that is the end of the advancing the agenda. The mythos phase will give us a terror from beyond is a hex in a terror. It's a treachery. It says the revelation is choose one of the following card types, asset, event, or skill, and each player must discard each card in his hand, his or her hand. That is the chosen card type. This is not the first copy of the terror from beyond drawn. It says choose two card types instead. So we are going to choose. What is it? I think it's going to be event. They don't have any. I will choose event because I don't have any, so I don't have to discard anything. Yay! A good card for us for a change. All right, so it is my turn again. I will get my free resource from Lone Wolf. I don't think I did that last turn, which hurts us. All right, I have to evade him or attack him. I'm not going to fight him because I don't have my weapons out yet. Okay, so I will evade him. I am his uh, agility is two versus my agility of three. I have the resources to spend if I need to. So one, two, three. It's a zero, so we evade him. So he is exhausted. There are no clues here, so we can run to the next car. That is my second action, and that will reveal another passenger car. Again, the passenger car is connected to the locations left and right of it. Is after you enter a passenger card, you must either discard a card from your hand with at least one uh, question mark icon or take one damage and one horror. I do have a card with question mark icon. Or do I? No, I don't. Shit. Okay. I don't. I thought I did. So I take a damage and a horror. Things are getting bad here. I'm halfway dead and more than halfway to going crazy. So... All right, so first action was to evade. Second action was to move. There's only one clue in here. I do have a turn because he's not. He's just going to ready. So my third action is going to be. I'm going to play Clarity of Mind. Two. I'll put Clarity of Mind into play. That way I can heal my brain if I need to. Alright, that's my last action. So that is the end of my turn. The enemy's phase, he's exhausted, so he just hangs out. And now we're ready for the next round. There's a Doom token here. He is now ready. He's still stuck here, though. So he's still there. Next turn he'll move, because he's going to hunt me. Hopefully next turn I will not be there. I will be in the next car. All right, the Mythos phase deals us mysterious chanting. It is a hex, a revelation. Place two doom on the nearest cultist enemy. If there are no cultist enemies in play, search the encounter deck and discard pile for a cultist enemy and draw it and shuffle encounter deck. So that's a problem. Oh, shit, the card I drew is a problem too. I'll need to address that in here in a second. <sighs> Can't avoid that damn thing. All right, uh, I have to look at all cards and go find a cultist. Where are you? I know you're in here. There's one right there. There's an Acolyte. Motion Shuffle. Hey, uh, thanks for the follow. I appreciate you. Thanks for checking in. All right, so we have to spawn. We, uh, we draw him and, and put him into play. So he spawns at any empty location. I'm going to put him here. These guys, you have to kill these guys because they will just stay out there and they'll have a permanent doom token on them, which just gets you closer to dying. So I'm going to put him right there. Next turn, I'm ideally, I'm moving into his location and I'll be able to attack him and kill him. Um, yeah, that's kind of the plan. Uh, that is the end of the Mythos phase. So we will discard here. And...
That's our turn. Turn marker up here. So, ah, things are getting ugly, folks. All right, my first action, I've got to investigate here to get rid of the clue, so I will investigate for one. I am a uh, knowledge of three against a one shroud, so it should be pretty good. I do have, oh, uh, I have Lone Wolf. I'm going to generate a resource for Lone Wolf. I do have uh, Arcane Studies that I can fast play to discard tokens to boost if I need to. All right, one, two, three. That's Skull. Skull says minus X, where X is the current agenda number. It's two, so it's a minus two. So we're even, so that's a win. So I will get the one clue out of that passenger car. That is my first action. My second action will be to go to this passenger car and take whatever beating it gives me. Uh, it says the parlor car <clears throat> is connected to the location to the left and right of it. The parlor car cannot be investigated. I have to spend three resources and I can discover the one clue here. Excellent. We like that. Um, but at first, this guy engages me because I walked into the door where he's at. All right, so now that was one action here, two actions to move into the parlor car. My third action is going to be to fight this guy so that he dies. Oh, and before I get any farther, I forgot to do this when I drew my card. I have to put searching for Izzy. I was here when searching for Izzy came out, so it's searching for Izzy is going to go in the farthest from me, which was one, two, three, farthest from me. So searching for Izzy, oddly enough, good for me. It ends up where I have to go. The problem with that is, is that I have so I have to burn two actions in order to actually get rid of it. So that's bad for me. Every single game that, that card has come out, and I've played f four games with uh, with Jenny here, and she, searching for Izzy has hit the board in three of them. I successfully did it once. I failed one other time, which was last week, and this one I'm hoping to be able to get it done today, but we'll see. All right, so now I have to fight this Acolyte because I, I cannot let that Doom token stay. Um, so he's a fight of three. He only has one hit point, so we should be able to get him. Um, I am going to fight him. I will discard. Uh, there's worse guys out there, so I'm not going to discard Overpower for it. Um, I'm just going to fight him. I've got resources in my pocket to boost me if I need it. So three versus three. Or even minus one, so I will use my School of Hard Knocks here to boost my fight by one. And I will do one point of damage, which is enough to kill him, and that gets rid of that uh, Doom token, which is the most important component to that. Uh, investigate, move, fight. That is the end of the turn. The monster's face, he's a hunter, so he's going to go, ah! I can hear the rumbling, awful nightmare coming from behind us in the uh, the train car behind us. He's absolutely awful. Again, look at the the art that they put on that card. It looks really cool and scary. All right, uh, that is the monster's phase. So the enemies have gone. We're at the upkeep. Upkeep says that everybody refreshes. And we're ready for the next round. We, they put the one doom token up there. I drew Leo. I'd love to be able to get him out. I guess I can because he replaces his action and he gives me some extra horror and damage, which is nice. All right. Um, Mythos Phase. Boom. Mythos Phase makes us draw an encounter card. Boom. We here uh, find some writing remains. It's a uh, uh, revelation. It's a terror. Revelation, we test the uh, willpower three for each point of fail by I take a horror. Okay. One, two, three. Minus one, so I would fail by one. I will discard a resource to not fail that. I'll use the arcane studies to strengthen my will against the awful guts and body parts that we find in the parlor car. That is the end of the mythos phase, so that goes back to us. Here we go. I will uh, generate a resource for Lone Wolf because Lone Wolf lets me gain one, and I'm going to spend six of these right now. To put Leo out. So Leo enters the pl enters the fray. So he takes a lot of my resources, but he uh, 
he, get, he replaces his action, so I'm going to... My first action was to play Leo. My second action is going to be to investigate a parlor car. It's a three versus three. Uh, you have one, so I'm up by one. Not a lot more I can do there. I'll try to investigate once here and see what happens. One, two, three. The skull, so it's minus two. I only have one resource, so I will not succeed there, so that's a failure. Oh, no, I can't investigate. My bad. So I'm going to shuffle that back in there. That was my mistake. I need to go unwind that. Put that token back in there. Shuffle. All right, so I messed that up. I need to go back and fix that. Okay, so I need to spend re three resources here in order to uh, get out of the parlor card. So I can't do that. So my second action will be to discard one of those to heal horror. My third action is going to be to I will spend my final resource to put a knife out. Put my knife. Because I generate three resources a turn between her ability, which is generate an extra resource every turn, and Lone Wolf, so I'll have enough to parlay out of here. The next turn, I can't do anything about uh, him. He's just going to show up and hit me. I'll probably put the damage on Leo this time. But I will have a knife, so I'll be able to fight a little better if I need to. Yeah. I'm actually ahead of the destroying the train a little bit, so I can take things a little slower. All right, so uh, Leo was one, failed investigation was two, third was discarding clarity of mine, and my final action was to play a knife. So that is the end of the round, because we're going to, the Maw's going to eat the, the, another train car, I bet. All right, so we're ready to refresh. Oh, he's going to move, so here he is. Uh, he engages me, he does one damage, and one horror to me. Which sucks, that's not good. I need to get away from him. Uh, and we're ready for the next round. Another flashlight. Generated my two resources. The Maw widens, advances. So we will flip that. Excuse me. The next train car is ripped backwards in a violent force. A middle-aged man hangs from his fingertips as the car flies unhindered, unhindered towards the rift. In moments, the cart is consumed whole, and the man lets go rather than, than he be pulled into the void. He starts to fall, but is caught by the, by the rift's force and pulled inside it anyway. Remove the leftmost location from the game, or place it in the victory display if it's victory X and no clues are on it. I don't think it is. It... Uh, each investigator at that location is defeated. I am not there, thank goodness. Each enemy and asset at that location is also discarded. Uh, discard all clues controlled by the investigators. Uh, discard the the one clue I have, the parlor car, or the dining car gets et. The dining car goes bye bye, and we advance to the next agenda. Boom! Rolling backwards, the pull of the rift in the sky seems to grow stronger, and the entire train begins to roll backwards along the tracks. The rearmost cars of the train begin to rattle and force the the force of the rift is threatening to, to is threatening to detach them. You must get out of these cars as fast as you can. There's uh, four doom on that before things go awry. I still have not gotten to the front of the train. I have this asshole on me, so I need to deal with him. Hard that from the last turn. That is the uh, advancing the agenda. We are now onto the mythos phase up here. Mythos phase will deal us a fucking acolyte. Cool. So now we have two guys I have to deal with here. All right, so and he gets a doom token on him. Yeah, things are getting out of hand here. All right, that's the end of the mythos phase, so that's our turn. All right, I can deal with these guys however I want to. I'm going to fight the acolyte. So I will use my first action to fight him. I my first thing I'm going to do is generate a resource from Lone Wolf. 
My second is going to be to fight the acolyte. Okay. Is to fight the acolyte. He's only a he only takes one health. He's a fight three though, so he's even up with me. Um, I am not going to discard any cards for that. I don't know if I'll ever actually be able to play my Derringer at this point. Um, yeah, we're in this fight straight up. Actually, I'll use my knife. So I will use an action. So I'll get plus one for this attack. And I will stab him with my knife. Minus one, that puts me even. So we kill him. Dead. Discard him. My second action is going. I'm going to evade him, I think. Yeah, we're going to evade him. I'm not going to even try to fight him. I mean, I know that I'm capable of fighting him and killing him. I better succeed, though. I could fight him once. If I win that, I can discard my knife and kill him. All right, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to just fight him. Fuck it. We're going to fight him. I've got, I've got three resources to help boost myself. And I have an overpower if I need it. All right. So my first, this is going to be a straight fight. Three versus three. Actually, I'll use my knife. So my four versus a three. So one, two, three. Minus two. I will discard a resource to do a point of damage to him. My second one, I'm going to shank my knife. I'll discard my knife. Get plus two. So I'm a five versus a three. And my attack gets plus two. I am going to discard overpower as well. So I am a 7 versus a 3. So even I think the worst thing, the only thing that can stop me is if I pull the actual auto fail, which is, you know, certain. Oh, we got it. All right. So with the knife, we did 2 damage to him, which will kill him. So he actually dies. He's not worth victory points, though, so he just goes away. Discard. Because I used Overpower, I get to draw a card for that. Basically replace itself. Um, Alright, so that was actions 1, 2, and 3. I do have a fourth action. Unfortunately, I had to use one of my tokens to... Uh, one of my tokens to... boost myself so I'm kind of stuck um, I will generate a resource with my last action and that's the end of the round so we will advance to the enemy round there are no enemies because I killed them all we are ready to refresh and ready for the next round that will put a doom token up there I drew another overpower and the mythos phase brings oh fuck an emergent monstrosity, a monster and abomination, spawn at the location to your right or on your location if there isn't one. The emergent monstrosity enters play exhausted. The creature erupts from underneath one of the seats, growing ceaselessly in a mass and in mass and volume, threatening to envelop the entire compartment. Holy shit, this guy! Woo -hoo -hoo. And I gotta go that way. I don't have a choice. Ugh. At least he just sits there. I'm not, if I can evade him, I'm just going to leave his ass in the dust. All right, that's the end of the Mythos phase, so that's back to us. Oh, shit, okay. Um, all right, so I am going to uh, spend three resources to discover clue in the parlor car. One, two, two, three. So I gain that clue there. As one action. Oh, I will generate a resource for Lone Wolf. I forgot to do that. Lone Wolf gives me one. F coming in, fighting this guy in any way, shape, or form is pretty much guaranteed death. Well, it is guaranteed death for me unless I heal a. Uh, unless I heal. The good part is, is I can actually move into there. He's still exhausted. But he'll ready right away and kill me. Oh, shit. Bad. So my second action is going to be to spend a charge of clarity of mind to heal my brain. That way, if I do encounter him, he doesn't instantly kill me. Actually, no. Hold on. Leo can take some of that hit. Leo can eat it if I need him to. 
Um, all right, so my one first action was to was to spend three resources. Second action will be to move into this car and do whatever awful thing it makes me do. Uh, after you enter the passenger car, you must discard cards from your hand with at least two total uh, fight icons or take two damage. Uh, I can do that. I will discard my overpower for that. I don't want to, but I don't have much of a choice. I'll discard overpower. Okay, it's a shroud one. Or a shroud of four and one clue in here. So, first action. Then three resources. Second action is to move into there. Third action will be to... I'm going to investigate. I'm down by one automatically here. I will discard a flashlight to boost me to even and then hope that I don't need to All right, so sorry about that. I was just reading something. Um so we're even at four at four v four, and then if I need to use my uh, arcane studies, I'll do that. One, two, three, plus one. Holy shit, we got it! All right. So that was our third action. One, move two, investigate there. Three, get the fuck out of there. Four. <laughs> all right. Uh, you cannot enter uh, the engine car unless all of the clues on the location to its left have been discovered. They have been. I have done all of that. So we have actually entered the engine car. So we will flip the engine car. And this guy, thank God, is exhausted, so I do not have to worry about him. All right, the engine car is connected to the location to the left of it. After you reveal the engine car, search the encounter deck and discard pile for a grappling whore and draw it and shuffle it in the encounter deck. I will do that here shortly. I should not have revealed that before I advanced my act. So it says, uh, if an investigator enters the engine car, immediately advance. So I advance before that happens. So I will do that really quickly. All right. It says, the investigator entering the engine car reads the following out loud. A tender car filled with coal blocks your way to the engine cab. Swallowing your fear, you climb out of the nearby window and, and clamber under the roof of the train, making your way across the tender car. The steady backward motion of the train makes it difficult for you to keep your footing. As you get close, a, wi a winged creature swoops down from above, its body composed of piping hot steam. You must, uh, you must decide. Choose one. Test agility three. You attempt to dodge the creature. If you fail, you leap too far and barely grip the side of the train, hanging on for dear life. Although you manage to pull yourself up, the experience is terrifying, and I suffer one mental trauma. That will not be happening. Uh, test... Uh, Fight three to attempt to endure the creature's extreme heat. If you fail, the, the creature flies through you and, and the heat burns you and you suffer one physical trauma. I will definitely be doing that one because I do not need any more mental trauma. All right, so it is a test three against my skill of three and I can discard resources to boost. So one, two, three. Yeah. One, two, three. Auto fail, so uh, shit. <laughs> I just take a physical trauma. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> All right. Oh, no, not a problem. Oh, shit. This fucking game, man. I'm actually feeling pretty good, too. In my mind... <laughs> In my mind, when I got to the in to the engine car, I'm like, All right, the big giant monster can't eat me. This one that's right here, he can't get me. Like I got to it, I saw that it 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 gets the uh, the grappling horror. No big deal there because I can avoid him and do whatever I need to do. I can deal with all that, but a freaking of course. Hey, why don't you take a physical trauma? So now I have both a physical and a mental trauma. So instead of being an eight seven, I'm actually a seven six, which is pretty freaking bad. So <laughs> okay, all right, man. All right, so now I need to go get the grappling horror and draw it and put it into the encounter deck or into play. All right, so let's go find our friend, the grappling horror. 
There's one there, but I think I'm going to pull them out of the deck. Uh, 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 where are you? There, there he is. Close and shuffle. So he goes into play. It doesn't say where he goes, so he goes on me. So he's going to be right there. And I was thinking things were looking okay, but not really anymore. Okay, so we started out. Uh, so we end the turn there. Shit, that's gonna that's gonna really fuck me up. Okay, so that's the end of the round. The bad part is, is he shows up and he's gonna do damage to me right away, which Leo is gonna eat. All right, we're ready to refresh. So the big monster over there, he's back up. But I don't think I care unless he moves. He does not. So he's just going to hang out there. Ready for the next round. That'll put one another hit on the agenda there. Actually, hold on. He does his damage to me. So he's going to do one-on-one. -on -one, so I'm going to just give Leo. You're going to eat it, buddy. Sorry. Um... Now we're on to the next round. So one Doom Token, Mythos round here. I forgot to do the enemies phase. That was my mistake. And the Mythos card comes as a... Oh, fuck me. Does it help the Spatula to play at the location to your left? Yeah, there's nothing I can do. You're going to go in there and you're going to die. He may not die. He may just hang out there. It also surges, so I get to pull another card. One, two, three. Oh, fuck. Wizard of the Order. Uh, put at any empty location. Cool. He's not going to be anywhere near me. <laughs> Except for he has a Doom token on him. I Fuck it. I don't care at this point. He can go right there. I'll put him right there. Yeah, I don't think I care at this point. I'm I'm trying to steamroll forward. Let's let, look forward. We're looking forward. Looking forward. All right. So that is the end of the Mythos round. So that's us. Here we go. Oh okay, shit! Oh fuck! We got the Necronomicon. That's uh doesn't do us a damn bit of fucking good right now. I mean, it kind of does, but not really. I will gain my resource for being a lone wolf because I am a lone wolf fighting this asshole. Um, there is two clues here that I have to get. Oh, I need to put the uh, the next act out there. My bad, guys. So let's get the engine running. You've managed to make it to the engine cab, but now you have you have to get the engine started again so you can outrun the pulling force of the gate. If there are no clues on the engine car, I can immediately advance. All right, so I've got to get these two clues from the engine car. Done, and I've got to avoid this asshole. All right, so I am going to, right off the bat, I am going to evade him because I am not going to try to fight him. I don't have any weapons out that really help me. So I am going to just evade him and his uh, agility of two versus my three. So I'm up by one and I have the resources to discard. One, two, three, chaos bag. There's the acolyte, or the cultist, minus one. So we succeed, so he is exhausted. Uh, so he goes back up here. to the back for now. That was my first action was to evade him. My second action will be to investigate here. Up by one. Minus one. We're good. Get the first one. Third action will be to investigate us again. Minus two, so I need to discard. Discard a resource to boost my knowledge by one. To get that one. So we have actually succeeded there. There is no Clues on the engine car. If there, if there are no clues on the engine car, immediately advance. I think we may have just got this, guys. Flip. The engine roars to life and kicks into motion. You shovel coal into the engine's firebox and, and, and are relieved to see that the train is moving forward along the tracks once again. Holy, sh holy shit. We got that. I don't think, holy shit, we actually escaped. Ooh, wow. All right. Oh, uh, we get resolution one. Resolution one. 
change over so you guys can see what I'm going to read here. No, that not it. Hold on, sorry about this, guys. There we are. All right, so we get resolution one. We are not defeated, so we don't get to read that. For resolving any other resolution, if at least one investigator was defeated, the defeated investigators read investigator defeated first. We did not get defeated. We get resolution one. How do you get resolution two? I'm curious. Oh, I bet it, I bet it's if uh, if the act reaches the finale. I bet. Okay, so here we go. Uh, we get resolution one. Uh, you breathe a sigh of relief as the gate as the gate behind the train collapses harmlessly upon itself. The few passengers who survived the ordeal seem unable to comprehend what just happened. One passenger mentions a pipe bursting in in the rear car, and that quickly becomes the explanation for the incident and, uh, for for the incident and and ignorant those who either cannot or choose not to delve further into the mystery. You, on the other hand, know better. Although in hindsight, you wish you didn't. Each investigator earns X. Experience equal to the victory X value for each card in the victory display. I had no, I had what, one card in the victory display? I think I had one. Wow, well, that was it. I get one card in the victory display, I think. And I think that was just the, uh, I think that was just the, uh, the engine car. I don't think I have anything else. Oh, I got the parlor car too. Look at those two. Yep. I did not fight that guy. There's no way I was going to fight him. I did not fight him. I did take a mental trauma. I did take a mental trauma. Yeah, so I got the engine car and the parlor car. How do you get this? So it has... The weird thing here is... There's these cards here. I assume that it's just oh, I assume that if the if this gets to the end, it flips over. Let's look at the back of the. Yeah, so I get res I get resolution two. If the thing goes all the way through, it says each surviving investigator is immediately defeated and takes one mental trauma. So that's how you get the. Uh, so if you're defeated you get a copy of, of Across Space and Time which you don't want because that's freaking discard the top three cards of your deck that's probably a bad thing most of the time alright so that's how you get those but we actually succeeded we got through the, the uh, Essex County Express alive our next mission is going to be Blood on the Altar um, I did take a mental trauma, so I need to put that into my log here. So I also have 3 XP total. I've spent 6 XP total. I have a... Fuck! Oh, shit! I forgot to do searching for Izzy, too. Oh, my God. So I take another mental trauma for that. Oh, I'm a... Oh, Jenny, you're beat to shit. All right, so I get a mental trauma for searching for... Is for Because I didn't finish searching for... Is I don't think I could have. I mean, I guess I could have attempted to evade him every turn. And that was an error on my part. But I succeeded in the mission, but I, the succeeding the way I did probably cost us way more than... Uh, than it could have. I guess that's just the way it is. You live and learn. Um, Alright, so I have two mental trauma. Two mental trauma and one physical trauma. So yeah, I'm beat up all to hell. I do have three experience. I'll try to figure out how to compensate for some of that. Save that. Yeah, I needed to slow down. I got excited at the end of that, trying to rush to the, get to the end, and I messed up. I made an error. That's okay. It happens. Um, 
All right. So we're through uh, the Essex County Express. Like I said, our next mission when I play Arkham again on stream here will be Blood on the Altar. I'll probably make some adjustments to my deck to try to help offset some of the trauma and damage I've taken. Um, until next time, folks, chat, I appreciate you. Thank you for uh, checking out my stream today. You can check out the other VODs and other missions for my Arkham Horror campaign here over on my YouTube channel at Broncos Gaming World. Um, they're all posted over there already, and I will post this one over there to, uh, probably sometime later today. Um, there's also other VODs for the other LCGs I'm playing on stream here, Lord of the Rings. I'm doing a full uh, actual Lord of the Rings campaign. Uh, we're through the Knife in the Dark, and we're on to the uh, Light to the Ford this coming week. I'm also playing Marvel Champions, running a Captain America deck, solo play as far as it'll take me. Right now we uh, I've played through the first four scenarios that were ever released. And uh, next week we'll be on to uh, fighting uh, uh, one of the Green Goblins. But uh, I appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching. And uh, I will catch you guys again on stream here in the near future. I may probably jump on stream either today or tomorrow and run some uh, Overwatch 2 as well. So uh, check that out if you can. Again, thanks for uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate you. Take care.